In a previous video I replaced this water valve. Now we're going to tear it down. This is the hot water side right here. You can see how all the sediment is down in there. It's pretty bad. Our hot water lines here in the house, even though they're all copper, get a lot of sediment and stuff. I wish I knew a way to filter out the sediment that goes through there better than these little screens that are inside of uh, one of these valves because they're kind of a pain. A lot of times I can simply take these valves off, clean them all out, but this one has gotten beyond usability. I've taken this and cleaned this out several times. As you can see, it's pretty bad down in there, gunked up and everything, but the bigger problem was the cold water wasn't closing all the way, so it was dripping. So if anyone knows a way to catch all the sediment on a hot water side prior coming out of the line or before it goes into like, say, kitchen sinks or faucets or washers or dryers or any appliances let me know because this is a, a frequent thing i have to do with uh, my washer as well as my dishwashers i have to take supply off clean the screen out and everything and i'd really like to avoid doing that if you know any way to uh, filter that stuff out before it gets to the appliances comment below and let me know i'm going to unscrew the screws that hold the metal bracket to the plastic body flap and these are the solenoid actuators these lift up and down to open and close just open up when they open up water flows in here through a little hole right down in there goes around here goes over this lip basically into this center hole which is connected to this line right here it goes out to the washer I'm not sure what this little rubber flappy thing here is for plus it's like a something to mix the water or something i have no idea I'm not even going to speculate i imagine we'll see the same over here little spring basically it's a little spring diaphragm that when the solenoid kicks it lifts it up again causes that to Break that seal right around there, and then water flows in and straight down the little hole. It's really quite simple. These little seals here, the rubber gets some wear on it, it'll start dripping. Neither of these guys look too bad. A little mineral buildup that caused it to not seal on these little lips right here, which caused it to drip over time. According to the manufacturer, this is rated at 175 psi. So what I'm guessing that means is it's going to take 175 PSI before it pushes these up to start leaking. My water pressure is nowhere near that. You can see here how the hot water has stained inside here. Turned it kind of yellow. And you can also see that same staining over here on this side. This little rubber piece goes in. So on this side here, we have two solenoids that when they're activated, all they do is cause the steel rod in here to lift up. Or go down and that's pretty much all there is to a water valve it would be really nice if these screens were removable easily they're pressed in there you can remove them but they're kind of difficult to remove not a good way to clean them out very easily and once they get debris in there you can foul up uh, these seals and no longer seal properly so it's important to keep them in working order but sometimes stuff or debris small enough particulate can get by or the rubber just wears out and being used even the solenoid can wear out that's uh what a washer hot water cold water valve looks like thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos